Howdy Bilmo fans and especially Howdy Bilmo. This is Jim in Texas, one of your biggest fans, and I'm going to, uh, I think, correctly answer the question, what bike are you getting next? Well, look at your garage, uh, Billy. What's written on the back wall? Does it say Kawasaki? Does it say Suzuki? It certainly doesn't say Harley Davidson, does it? It says Honda in giant letters on the back of your disgustingly clean garage. So it's going to be a Honda. You know it, I know it, we all know it. There's no other possibility. There's other bikes that might be logical, but it's going to be a Honda. It's going to be a V4. No question about it. You're a V4 man to the core. Now you've piddled around with this, you know, the single cylinder KLR and the, I think you got the Kawasaki, uh, one of the cross rockets, the, the ZX-1000. Is that right? And I'm sure those are fun and those are flings, but you're going to come back to, to the thing you know best, V4. This V4 is going to have a displacement of 1,237 cc's, exactly. It's going to have Dunlop Road Smart tires. It's going to be red, and it's going to be a 2010 model. Now, you're, you and I know that you're not going to buy it used. Like me, when I was looking for a, a new bike, I wanted a comfortable, long-range bike. Similar to say what uh, uh, Busasaurus Rex has now on the BMW touring bike that he's got. So you're going to need something that can keep up with him in terms of not just speed, but in terms of the ability to stay on it and go a long way. So you need something like what uh, Tracy's got. Similar in capability. So that rules out any sort of crotch rocket thing. But being that you're a crotch rocket kind of guy and you're not willing to, to admit that the age is eventually catching up with you, trust me, Every year the stairs get steeper, the cops get younger, the doctors get younger. I think you're starting to feel that now, but the full impact hasn't hit yet, which is understandable. You, want, you I believe, work with a lot of high technology in your non-YouTube life, and obviously you've got the video technology down good, so you're going to want to, like me, you're going to want a bike with some technology, like this bike that I'm sitting on. What does that mean? It's got to be a Honda VFR 2010 with a dual-clutch transmission. And the reason for that is the dual clutch transmission gives you the technology, it gives you the comfort. It's still not an old man's bike like a VFR or Tracy's uh, BMW. It's still a bike that the rider can sort of claim to be a young man or a woman. In your case, a man, uh, I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? So, you know you love VF, you know you love the V4, you know you love the VFR. The only reason you're not keeping the right this VFR forever is because you know it's time for it to, to live a little bit more sedate life. So congratulations. The reason you can buy, and, and another thing is, and I know that you've looked into this, is the 2010 Honda VFR dual clutch transmissions, the dealers are giving them away. I had the same experience with this uh, paddle shifting uh, Yamaha uh, FJR. Uh, American Motorcycle riders, most of them want to buy a 1948 Harley Davidson with a Springer front end, uh, maybe with fuel injection, and, uh, but uh, and self-canceling turn signals. But other than that, they just want to stay back in 1948. God knows why, but they do. You and I, on the other hand, are cutting edge guys. We want some technology, and because the high tech bikes like the FJR AE or the VFR dual clutch don't sell real well, there's still a lot of 2010 miles in dual dual showrooms and Honda's dumping them right now. So you're going to get a brand new, bright red, beautiful Honda VFR 2010 with one mile on the clock and you're going to enjoy the heck out of it. Just don't do like I did with this, drive it more than three miles before you drop it and I know you'll do that. Congratulations on your new VFR, Billy. I look forward to seeing many adventures right along with you on that VFR and thank you very much for your challenge. This is Jim in Texas. I think that's a take.